In order to determine the feasibility of any project or the profitability of any project, we need to use different investment decision rules. And we can classify these investment decision rules as objective measures and subjective measures. What do we mean by objective measures? It means that they have a benchmark. For example, NPV, Profitability Index IRR, are considered objective measures, while payback period and accounting rate of return are considered subjective measures. So, objective, it means that we have a benchmark. For example, NBV. If NBV is positive, this means that we'll accept the project because it will create value. If NBV is equal to zero, it means that we're not going to have value creation, but we're not going to have a value destruction. Therefore, we will be indifferent. If NBV is lower than zero, we will reject the project because this is an example of value destruction. We will lose value if we make this project. Therefore, for any project, what will be our benchmark when we talk about net present value? It will be zero, and that's why we call it an objective measure. Profitability index, the same. Our benchmark is one. If profitability index is bigger than one, we'll accept. If profitability index is equal to one, we'll be indifferent. If profitability index is lower than one, we will reject. Internal rate of return, our benchmark will be our discount rate, which is also called cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital. So if internal rate of return is bigger than WAC, weighted average cost of capital, we will accept the project. If IRR is equal to WAC, we will be indifferent. If IRR is lower than WAC, we will reject the project. Payback period. Payback period is considered a subjective measure. Why? Because we compare payback period with a specific period. And this specific period will differ from one investor to another. For example, I will go to Jennifer and I will ask her, when would you like to get your money back? She will say after six months. I will go to Mark and I will ask him, when would you like to get your money back? He will say after two years. I will go to Amanda and I will ask her, when would you like to get your money back? She will say five years. Therefore, I don't have an objective benchmark. And that's why we call it a subjective measure. Therefore, if payback period is lower than a specific period, we'll accept. If payback period is equal to a specific period, we'll be indifferent. If payback period is bigger than a specific period, we will reject. Accounting rate of return is the same. I compare accounting rate of return with a required rate of return. And this required rate of return differs from one investor to another. And that's why it's subjective. If accounting rate of return is bigger than required rate of return, we will accept. If accounting rate of return is equal to required rate of return, will be indifferent. If accounting rate of return is lower than required rate of return, we will reject. So if we have different projects and we need to choose one of them. So for NBV, we'll choose the highest. Profitability index will choose the highest. IRR will choose the highest. Payback period will choose the lowest. Accounting rate of return will choose the highest. And this will be our ranking criteria. Also, we have different investment decision rules, and in real life, we calculate all of them. Our superior measure is net present value. So, let's make a little comparison here. We would like to know when should we have each measure, and what are the required information to calculate it. So, for net present value, we will use it for long-term projects with expected cash flows and considering time value of money. The information we need to calculate net present value is our initial investment, our expected future cash flows, and our discount rate. Profitability index. We will use it when we compare projects with different scales or sizes. The information required is exactly the same as NBV. Initial investment, expected future cash flows, and discount rate. Internal rate of return. We will use it mainly when we would like to evaluate the rate of return and comparing projects with different cash flow patterns. The information required is initial investment and expected future cash flows. Then we have payback period, and we use it for short-term projects or projects with high uncertainty. What we need is exactly the same as IRR, initial investment, and expected cash flows. Finally, accounting rate for return, we use it when we would like to assess the profitability of an investment relative to its average investment. So what we need here is average annual profit and average investment. Please note that all investment decision rules uses cash flow. The only exception is accounting rate of return.